Hello, Happy New Year everyone. My name is Nicole. Welcome to my channel. And welcome if you're new here as well. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a stress test and a note bit of the day as usual. I'm going to start that again. Um, so I'm going to get right into the stress test because I did two, I'm going to do two of them to see how, if I get the same results or not. Okay? Anyways, let's go into the first one. The first one is a stress mark. Okay. I'm just going to say the question. Also, if you're tech savvy and know how to record the screen and put it on, some, on your video, please let me know because that would be helpful too. So I can edit, edit it like that so you guys can follow the along easier. Anyways, this one says I at least eat one hot balanced meal a day. Always. I get seven to nine hours of sleep at least four nights a week. Often. I exercise to the point of perspiration at least twice a week. Always. On average, how many cigarettes do you smoke per day? I don't smoke. On average, how often do you think alcohol per do you drink alcohol per week? Um, one to six units per week, maybe. I don't drink drink often, not as often as I used to. I wasn't like a major like crazy alcoholic. I just, you know, you have those summers where you go out a lot more, and then you kind of start to calm down a year after or something. Like that's kind of what happened. On average, I drink fewer than two cups of coffee a day. I drink one at least sometimes i drink uh two depending on how tired i am i should stop drinking coffee though no i love coffee but sometimes it gives my stomach my stomach really bad cramps uh i i have a network of friends family and acquaintances who at whom i can rely always i'll say off, often i am able to speak openly about my feelings when angry stressed or worried I'll put sometimes, sometimes I don't want to. I do something for fun at least once a week. Always. I take quiet time for myself during the day. Never. Or very little, very rarely. I have an income adequate to meet my basic expenses. Disagree. I am not <coughs> financially at best right now. Um, I have been struggling a little bit. I'm not, I don't like to talk about my financial situation, but, um, it's not really in the, it's not really great right now. I'll just put it that way. But I'm also lucky to still be living at home with my parents, you know, too. So, yeah, anyways, um... I am calm and I am kept waiting slash stuck in traffic late for an appointment. No. Um, no. I usually, I, I usually get uh, road rage and sometimes it can be really bad. Sometimes it's, I guess if I'm not late for something though, I'm calm. Or so, lately I have been a little bit calm too with being, um, with rushing. Sometimes I do rush where like my anxiety sort of drives me up the wall, but lately I've just haven't been that way, which is kind of a good thing. So I'll put, um, sometimes. Because sometimes I do get frustrated though too, depending on how bad the traffic is. I feel organized and in control. Sometimes. I don't know about organized right now. I feel in control, but organized? Mm. I need to get organized. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. I recognize I am not coping well under pressure and I know how to deal with it. Um, I'd say often, because I do work in a pressured environment right now, where there is a lot of pressure, um, a lot of pressures that are involved. Anyways, um, my gender, female, I'm 21 to 24, so 
22. Just say occupation. I'm one of the many. Um, I oh, location. Ah. I wonder if this is like a study people are doing too. Do I have to? Oh. Don't really want. To. They're just asking for my email and stuff. Ah, I can't type today. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. A minute. We have to go into my email and get this. There we go. I scored a 29 to 42. Overall, you scored within the average range for coping. Well, oh, this is to cope with stress. Like, anyways, this suggests that while there are stressful events occurring in your life, you're usually able to cope with them effectively. Yes, I can. Um, I just distract myself, find something to do, or if I really need to, I'll talk about it, and that. And talking about things sometimes really does help you. I'll talk about it with my parents sometimes. Um, if I don't want it, always annoy, like bug my parents with it. I'll just find something else to do, or talk about it with a friend. Um, the scores below. Yeah. So that's basically that one. And the next one is just 10 questions. So this one is, been ups in the last month, have you been upset because of something that happened unexpectedly? Um, or how often have you? Sometimes. Next question felt that you were unable to control important things in your life, but sometimes. I felt nervous and stressed fairly often. You felt confident about your ability to handle your personal problems. Um, sometimes, uh, fairly often. You felt that things were going your way. Depending on the situation, no. Right now, there's something that's going on that is kind of going in the direction I want it to go. But work-wise, no. Found that you cannot cope with all the things you have to do. Uh, no, I could cope. I was able to cope with the, all the things that I had to do. I had to figure out how I was going to do stuff. Anyways, and been able to control irritations in your life. Yeah, I have. Felt that you were on top of things. No, not always. I tried, but not always. Been angered because of things that happened that were out of your control. You know, it depends on the situation. Sometimes if it is out of my control, how can I be angry about it, right? But if I could say something, I can't. 
then I could be in, uh, in control. I guess it all depends on the situation, like politics, you know, when we bring in, when there's people that don't, we don't necessarily like the rules that they're bringing in or the new policies, you know, we could be angry about it, but it's out of our control, right? So yeah, you have every right to be angry about that, but if it's something small that's out of your control, there's no point. Anyways, that, that's just my little argument there. Um, so, fairly often, I do get angry sometimes when it comes to politics and policies that, new policies that are being brought in that I'm not liking very much, you know, and I'm not going to say it on here because it is. I will, I don't want to like start anything and I don't want to bring hate, I guess. Anyways, last question. Felt difficulties were piling up so high that you couldn't overcome them? Yeah, actually when I was in school, um, there was like just one thing after the other. Oh, I got to say, I got the score 22, moderate, 22 out of 40, so I was moderately stressed. Um, yeah, so school was a huge hassle for me. Uh, always one thing after another just didn't stop and then something else happened during that time I wasn't like anything major uh, just my car broke down on my way to the to writing a big exam and I was freaking out but like could only imagine how much you could freak out that day for having your car break down on your way to writing a really important test Anyways, that is it for today. Um, let me know below about your stress levels if you want or if you've taken these tests and if you're tech savvy, how to record these tests so you can follow them along. I'm going to put these tests down in the description below um, so you can try them too if you wanted to. I'm going to keep doing these tests because they're fun outfit of the day I'm actually wearing no bra today so I'm sorry um it's like a turtleneck dress as a pair of jeans not high waisted though and then these socks reading socks from chapters that I got for Christmas and I love them they were so cozy anyways what else is there I'm gonna put all of my social media stuff excuse me, in the description below as well. And yeah, Happy New Year everyone and enjoy your day.